guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while, I've been so busy at work, but today I'm back with another video that I'm gonna hope that you're gonna enjoy. I get a lot of questions uh, in the comment sections of my videos and I thought that I would just answer a few of them now, strictly on zero waste. So if you do have any other questions, please leave them below and I can answer them more fully in these kind of videos as well. So the first one is, what do you use for toilet paper? Well, I try to use only recycled toilet paper that comes either individually wrapped in paper so that I can recycle it or just completely package free. And I can only find that at one place in London, which is why I tend to go for the one that's individually wrapped in paper that I can order online. And it comes in a reused cardboard box, which again can be fully recycled and inside there's toilet roll that will be in recyclable paper. Yes, it's inconvenient to be completely, you know, individually wrapped in paper, but at least paper can be completely recycled, whereas plastic just can't, and it will be here forever and ever and ever. So it's better to opt for a kind of paper solution. Okay, so the second question is, do you only use vinegar for cleaning? If no, what else do you use? So I predominantly use vinegar because it's fantastic and as I've shown you in a different video I always soak kind of fruit peels in it so that it doesn't smell so vinegary and it smells a bit fresher and a bit more natural and a bit nicer but another absolutely incredible cleaner is lemon juice itself my sister and I use them as a lime scaler for any kind of metal surface like our draining board for cleaning things like our kettle it's really great for getting all the horrible lime scale inside and out away and it's actually also really great for surfaces and things like um, your toilet or your shower or your bath and places like that another thing that i use are homemade bicarb little fizzy tablet things because i like to put them in my toilet i don't like to use bleach and they're also just really great for getting rid of horrible really tough to get rid of kitchen and bathroom stuff i will do a video on that if anyone is interested please leave your comments below and i'll make sure that i do okay so the third question is do i kick all my legumes and beans from dry and if yes how long do they last and how do i store them yes i cook all of my legumes and beans from dry because i'm trying to reduce the amount that i recycle even though cans can be recycled also they just taste a lot nicer because they're fresh so much nicer than the canned ones and they stop you from doing bad things. So I did show this in another video, but I'm just gonna answer it again here. When I cook up all these beans or legumes, I put them into different portion sizes and I put them in the freezer because in the freezer they last up to six months, whereas in the fridge, for me, they only last a couple of days which is a really, really sure way to waste food, especially if you go out and you don't mean to, if you forget to take your lunch in. That's a real sure way to reduce your waste is by putting it in the freezer and putting it in portion sizes. Number four is what do I use for buying smaller items like seeds, nuts and seeds or spices? So when I want to buy these kinds of things, I tend to go for really, really small cotton bags. And the best ones I found are actually ones that you make from your own old t-shirts because they're super lightweight and if you buy them from the store sometimes they're actually a bit heavier and you don't really want that so a great way is to make your own from t-shirts just little ones so that they're not carrying too much weight but of course you can tar them before I'm just a bit lazy and number five is how do you compost well I live in a flat in a big complex block in London so composting is not the easiest of things but luckily I have found several options so what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is I just put all my compost in a bowl and then I put that bowl in the freezer so that nothing rots nothing goes smelly and my roommates don't get annoyed at me for leaving it on the counter what I then do is I either well before I didn't have a composting system in our garden I would either bury it so that it became you know part of the earth again or I found a farmer's market that actually took compost so it's good to research that just because if you don't have a garden and you can't bury it and you're not going to go rummaging through a park to try and bury it there 
um, that it's really a good idea to go to a farmer's market because lots of them actually do take compost so it's a really really good idea to research and find a place that actually will take it so I freeze it I keep it in my freezer and every week once a week I go and put it in the garden where there's a massive compost um, system that we've got going but of course you can either bury it or go to a farmer's market or if you live in England in London your local council might have a composting system as well that you can take it to and then if you put everything in the freezer then you could go maybe once every two weeks so that it's not so much of a hassle okay so those were just five easy questions about what I do zero waste as always please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and leave your comments down below I love answering your questions and I also obviously want to help you guys so please leave me any questions that you do have and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you in the next video thank you guys for watching bye